Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi, Blair. Hi. So, nice to meet you. Nice hi, yeah. You. Take a seat. Um, is, is this for me? Yes. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us today. Sure. Um, I'm Laura. Um, as you know, I write for the zine Aubergine Vendetta. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I believe that we have some questions here today that you've kindly forwarded from some of your fans regarding your YouTube page. Now, um, just tell me a little bit about your YouTube page. What is it that you do? Um, basically, um, it's called Your Hair by Blair. Um, I have my own Twitter, my own blog as well. Um, it's just because, you know, I really struggled with a creative outlet as a child. Um, and then I discovered that my creative outlet was on my head. So, you know, I just utilized that and I studied at hair management um, course. And it's just really taken off from there, so. That's great, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can tell you have a lot of, a lot of great potential. If I can Thank you. just encourage you, I think that's really great. Um, so the first question that we have is from someone called Julian Rupert. Um, and he asks, what's in your bag? Um, well, right now I don't have a bag with me. Um, but normally I would have to say um, a comb with a point, um, some hairspray, um, Kirby grips, uh, mm. red lipstick, um, and um, an apricot. Interesting. Mm. Mm. And um, am I right in saying that you're a vegan, Blair? I am, yes. I'm very recently converted, but I'm just really into health and foods that are healthy and good for your health. Right. Um, like if a food has the word super in front of it, like maybe a super food, then I think that that's really good because it's a super yeah, I think health is so important. It's really important. A girl called Sarah. She's got lots of questions about what you do when you go and you get your hair cut. Mm -hmm. So... Typically, when you go to the hairdressers, what do you ask for? Um, a haircut. Hmm, yeah. Yeah. And, um... <clears throat> okay, uh, do you get your hair washed when you go to the hairdressers? Um, yes, I do. Actually, if you watch my very first video, Twirly Heidi, I mentioned that greasy hair is, um, pretty gross. So yeah. don't ever have greasy hair um, because it means that it's not clean. So that's True. not good. So when they offer you... If someone's offering to rub your head in a really sensual way, in a way that will clean your hair, why would you turn that down? That's what I'm saying. So um, that answers the why question. And I'm assuming you that answers the do you like it when they wash your hair? I really like it. Okay. And... Um, I Does really it feel it. good? It feels really. Good. Is there some water? I'm sorry. I'm um. Yeah. Actually, there's. Well, um. This, there's. This is for me. Yeah. There's not much water in there. Was this just for me? Did someone else yeah. drink the water? Fig figured that you wouldn't be here for that long. This is a notice to all of you that it's really important to keep hydrated. Yes. I think someone else drink it. Okay. Um, another question, seeing as we're about to get into summer, have you got any good summer tips for hair th yes. that you recommend? Actually, this is a really good thing that you brought up because it's a really, it's a really big thing that I've been thinking about. Um, and that what I want to say for summer is that um, let's do something really bold. Let's you know make a stand and make a move and maybe just do something different. So I think that everyone should have really long hair this summer. Great. Yes, I can see yours is um, a good length. I'm growing it out for summer. That's I've really inspiring. I've just not inspiring. seen anyone have long wavy hair in the summer, so I think it will be a fun change. You're a real inspiration, Blair. Thank you. So Thank much. you. We here at Aubergine Vendetta just really love you. It's so, so sweet. I, had, I hadn't heard of you guys. You know, we're, um, we're, we're pretty independently minded, so. Right. 
Great. Well, um, thanks. Thank you.